All right, Makeup Geeks, I am so excited because the Makeup Geek gel liners are finally in. Woohoo! I'm so excited because I've been waiting forever for these, it feels like. Um, but let me show you the packaging. Isn't that cute? Little packaging there. And then inside is the shadow. Let me show you guys the jars. Super cute. This is the color Treasure. Let me show you this one first. It's a really pretty golden color. I'm really happy with these gel liners because they're really pigmented. Pigmented. They glide really smoothly. They have the consistency kind of like the Bobbi Brown gel liners, but we're selling them for $7.99 instead of $22. So really good savings on that. But here's Treasure. And I really like the names of these. Um, I think they're really, really cute. Jessica, thanks for helping me name them. She did a good job on them. This is the color Fame. Isn't that pretty? It's a nice teal color. And there'll be swatches on the site for you guys so you can check them up in person up close. I just want to show you the actual containers. Uh, but the cost of these are $7.99. And how many ounces is this? It's 1.8 grams. So it's a standard um, size, standard pot. This is the color Mystic. And it's a nice, pretty aqua color. This one would be great for a base. I did a look last week, um, and I put this down as a base, and I put Mug Shimmer Mint on top. It was really pretty. It was a nice minty green look, because mint green's really hot right now. This is the color Immortal. And let me show you guys how intensely color that is. It's a true, true black. It's like a cream or a gel formula of our eyeshadow Corrupt. It's that intense. It's very, very pigmented. So really, really nice. This one is Mobster. I like that name. That one's my favorite. It's a dark brown. Excuse my jar, it's jacked up because I've been using it a lot. But it's just a matte dark brown color. This one is one of my favorites too because it's really different and only the Brave can wear it because it's a red. But it's the color Poison. And let me show you guys what that looks like. It's a true red color. You could wear this on the lips if you want, if you really want something on there. But um, I probably wouldn't recommend it because it's such a gel formula. It'll kind of glide a little bit, but it's a really cool color. Something different. This is the color Rave. And this one is a shimmery kind of gunmetal color. That would be good as a base, too. If you put this down on the lid, put a black shadow on top, kind of smoke it out, it gives you kind of that rocker look. So that one's a nice color. This one's kind of similar, but it's a little bit more um, silver. And this is Twinkle. Let me show you guys that one. It's more like a bluish gray color. The other one um, is more like a warm kind of taupey gunmetal. This one is Amethyst. And it's a really nice purple color. I'm running out of fingers here. It has a slight shimmer to it, so it's not a matte finish. I'm hoping to create a dark purple. I still don't have that one done yet, so I'm hoping once the lab can um, produce that one, maybe by next year. Um, but a dark purple would be really nice, and maybe like a dark um, hunter green. So I'm working on those right now. This is the color Electric. Really, really pretty. I like this as a base, too. It's an intensely uh, bright blue. So that one's really nice. And then the last one is great for a base, too. This is Cottontail. Hold on, I can't put the jar on. Cottontail is kind of a shimmery white. So you can use this as a base. You can put it um, in the inner tear duct for a little pop of white color. You can use this for a lot of things. I wouldn't, I mean, for me, I don't really use it as a gel liner as much, but I use it as bases. So there's 11 different colors, $7.99. You can get them on makeupgeek.com slash store. We have them for sale now. Shipping's really reasonable. And I like the containers. They um they turned out really well. I like um I don't just like everything about them to be honest. I mean if I didn't, I wouldn't put my name on this. So I hope you guys try them out. If you have bought them or if you're buying them, can you please let me know what you guys think? Because I really do take that into consideration. If you can post it here on this video or Go to the Makeup Geek site and there's a review section. You can review it on there because I actually do go through the comments and read which products of mine that some of you guys may not like as much and I retweak the formulas. Like I already have a couple eyeshadows that I'm trying to retweak the formula of, a couple lipsticks too because I had some people like, oh, it could be a little bit better. So I do take your guys' comments into consideration. So I would like some feedback on what you think of these gel liners. I'm really proud of them. I think they're really nice colors. There's a few unique colors in there that other brands don't have. So I'm really excited about them. I'm gonna start using these in the video. And also what I have here, I have, this is Monster out here, and then the inner one is Treasure. So I'm wearing a couple of the Makeup Geek eyeliners now. And then my lipstick is the color Lavish. So this is all Makeup Geek products. I'm really excited, because it's like, yay, I have stuff I can use now. So check it out, you guys. Oh, and a giveaway, <laughs> I forgot. 
If you are a YouTube subscriber, I'm going to go through after this video goes live a couple days later and go through my subscribers and just randomly pick one of you guys to get all 11 of these. So check your YouTube inbox for that. I will pick a winner at random. You will get every single color of the Makeup Geek gel liners. So if you're a subscriber, I'll pick that out. So I'm really excited. Check them out. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. And again, give me feedback. Um, but I hope you guys are doing really great. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.